Hello there YouTube, welcome back to my layout. I am Dwarf Junction here and here I am with another layout update. Uh, first of all I want to apologise, I accidentally deleted the last um, update of my layout um, and I can't get that video back because I deleted the video by accident. But So um, if you watched that video you've seen a bit of the layout. So uh, um, First off, new locomotives. Um, as you see in front of you I've got uh, 60163 Tornado in by Backman, that's their premium model. Um, bought that at the Selby Model Railway Show. A uh, very nice locomotive. My plans for this locomotive, I want to turn it into WP Allen. And some of you might be saying, "Well, Tonio's got a um, different uh, different cab. It's, uh, it's stuff like that." So um, I'm just gonna renumber it and rename it. And um, yeah, so. Um, I'm also saying, well, there's already a WP Allen out there, but um, I've decided to do it with this locomotive because I think it's more detailed, have a better chassis, uh, it's DCC ready as well, so that that's a plus to it, so that's really why I want to do it with this locomotive. So um, that's one new locomotive, the rest of them I think you saw in the last video that I deleted. Uh, next new locomotive is an Air, a Southern M7, British Rail, Lake Crest 3018. But um, I have plans for this locomotive, I am doing another project, I'm going to be turning this locomotive into a G5, an LNER G5 locomotive, uh, which is like um, the equivalent of this, but in LNER. So I'll be making new sides for it, moving the dome forward, um, doing the cab, I'll be adjusting the cab, just making this bigger, um, and doing the grates over the, uh, the um, bunker. But the chassis will stay the same and all that. So that'll be a project I'll probably do on video. If I remember to do it, um, the problem I have is I really forget to film stuff, but I'll try and film that for you guys so you see that in happening. So, we'll have a look. This side of the layout hasn't really changed a lot. I've done a bit more wiring. What's all the couple of wires? I really don't have a lot of time up here to do a lot of wiring. I've got some new drill bits to so drill the holes better. Um, my soldier iron's just bust. I need to get another one of those. Um, so can't use that at the moment. So I have, I'm I'm not I'm going to leave this side alone for a bit, and I'm going to do some more work on it soon. Uh, so we come around here. I've relayed these two tracks here because I've just bought some new Gresley suburban coaches that are kit built. I think the Parkside kits. Don't quote me on that. And they don't go around these curves that I had here before. As you remember, they came to about here. The tracks they they curve around to about here. And then um, they were a lot, really a lot tighter, but now they're a lot more gentle. Since this won't be seen, I used um, some concrete air flex track that I had laying around. So this will, from this bridge here to that bridge there, will not be seen. This will be completely covered over, hopefully, in time. So there's those two tracks there. Now we we'll move on to the big part of the layout that's changed. So I'll just go around here. Uh, so that's not much changed. I've added this yard in, but I think that was in the last update. If it's not, there's a new yard there. Got a load of new wagons. Got some. Yeah. Um. This is this side of the layout. That side of the layout is um, uh, late sixties, um, um, and back over. So since I got that British Rail, uh, uh, WP Allen, the tornado turned to WP Allen. Got a couple more wagons and all that. But this bit I've changed since last time. Um, this track now comes down it because I'll, I'll explain why I've changed this bit. But if, actually, I'll just show you if why not. So it comes down here, it goes, there's two tracks there, some couple of coaches there. They're on the LNR um, kits. So the LNR wagon I still need to fix. And this, this track comes down here, uh, comes to this little junction here, signal box, uh, bridge, comes into a one row platform, and some three coaches there. That's an articulated Gresley um, suburban set, which is a really nice set that I just bought. And then there's the northeastern station and a uh, scratch built platform. It comes down here to the crossover for the run round, or it can just run through. So that's why I changed this. Um, the reason why I changed this is because the the, the, uh, the layout I had here, the setup here before, was brilliant. I really liked the setup. It would have been good if I had another space to do that. I would have done it. But what I really want is a layout. Is just a small little tiny little station in the middle of nowhere with a with a good yard. Just and I can do. And what I'm going to plan to do. Cause I love. I love doing scenery. I've, I haven't done anything on this layout, but I have got two exhibition layouts which I've done scenery on. And obviously, before I did this on the side, when the original layout was here, I did a bit of scenery on that. 
I've improved. I've done senior on other people's layouts. And I've really, um, I think, improved on what I've done. So um, what I really want to do is just do a big embankment all the way down there, all the way around there. The one big embankment coming off from the hill. And all that's going to be hills. This is going to be like a small embankment going into a big embankment. Yeah, another embankment coming down here. And it'll be a, a point here in time. A point here coming off, going down there, going into there. It should be a little short line there. Um, that's because I want to do a freight only branch that will go through that uh, tunnel entrance there and go curve around. So that'll be a freight only branch, but that's to be in the future. What I plan to run on this side of the layout is a, v, a J72 to shunt the yard, J39s and a v, V1, V3s. Maybe a B1 and maybe a, no, the odd Pacific. That, that depends though. So, um, But all three of those locomotives will be coming out by Bachman either this year or next year. So I'll have to wait for those. But what I'm planning on doing is get a, an LER V1, V3. <coughs> An old spit chassis version, and getting that chipped by a uh, Monk Bar model shop. Um, I might do with the other two, so I can save myself some money. But depends on what what comes around um, cheapest. So um, there's the new coaches. That's an auto car, an auto an auto coach one. So that's push pull one because um, my next exhibition layout, which I'll announce in another video, uh, I need these coaches for that layout. So that's pretty much um, the entire layout update. Um, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, once I got a new coach, I got a new um, LNR coach for this side of the layout. So I hope you enjoyed this layout update, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.